Boolean expressions evaluate to true or false. To begin with, let's open VS Code. And if you still have the development server open, we're gonna close that. So if you see your terminal, you can press this trash can icon and make sure that your previous session was closed. And now if you go back to the terminal, and for this exercise, you'll wanna increase the size of your terminal so that it, you have more space to work with. We're going to start an interactive REPL right here in our terminal. The way that we'll do that is with the command npm run REPL. This will allow us to write TypeScript interactively right in VS Code. We're gonna declare two variables. Let small be a number variable that is assigned an initial value of 100, and let large be a variable that is assigned an initial value of say 1000. How can we compare these two variables and the values that they store? Well, we can do that using relational operators. We can ask is small greater than large? And we know that 100 is not greater than large, so this is a false statement. And as soon as we ask the interpreter to evaluate that expression, we'll see that it's false. We could flip it around and we could say it's large greater than small, and we expect that to be true. Sure enough, it is. Let's say we had a, another variable named let smallish be a variable that is assigned 100 as well. We can use the relational operator greater than or equal to smallish, and we'll see that that's true because 100 is equal to 100, so small is greater than or equal to smallish. Additionally, we can ask is small equal to smallish, and we see that that's true, or is small not equal to large, and we see that that is true. Let's go through each of these operators in a little bit more detail. In this table, we can see all of the relational operators as well as the equality operators. These have similar semantics to what you would know in math. So the way that you would ask greater than or is at least with a greater than or equal to symbol, except when we're writing this in code, you see that it's hard to write this symbol in code. So instead, we just use a greater than symbol followed by an equal symbol. So that's how we can compare two numbers or strings. When we compare two strings, they're compared alphanumerically. The equality operators are down here at the bottom, and these are pretty interesting. We'll talk more about them on the next two slides. The equal to operator is three equal symbols side by side. And this is asking a question, are these two values equal to one another? So is one equal to one? Yes, that's true. Is one equal to two? No, that's false. As I mentioned in the variables video, assignment is not equal to. So you can see here the equal to operator is three equal symbols, whereas the assignment is a single. So you would read the single equal symbol as is assigned a value of, and the triple equal symbol as is equal to. And the is equal to is a question, and the answer is either going to be true or false. It's a Boolean expression. To show you how you can use these two symbols in a single line of code, we can declare a variable b that's going to be assigned initially. The result of asking is whatever is in variable x at this point equal to what's in variable y. In this example, we don't know what those values are, but whatever they are, that's either gonna be true or false, and so B's type is going to be Boolean. You should only use the equal to operator with the primitive types we know, string, number, and Boolean. We'll see some other types later, and we'll have to compare them in a different way. The not equal to operator is the exclamation point followed by two equal symbols. The exclamation point symbol in many programming languages means not. So one is not equal to one, that's false because one is equal to one, one is not equal to two, that's true. Similarly, we could set up a Boolean variable B that's assigned the result of asking our two variables not equal to one another, and that's either going to be true or false. Those are the relational inequality operators. Now let's take a look at logical operators that allow us to form compound statements. If UNC has a game and it is a home game, then I will go watch the game. You will only go watch if those two conditions are true. Alternatively, we can make a compound logical statement by saying, if it is raining or it is cold, then I'll grab my jacket. If either are true or both are true, then you'll grab your jacket. If neither are true, they won't grab your jacket. Finally, if it is not a Comp 110 assignment, then I will procrastinate. We can use the not operator to invert some statement. How do we express these three operators in code? The and operator is the double ampersand some value A and some value B. If both are true, then the resulting value will be true. A truth table works a lot like a multiplication table, where let's imagine we have a variable A and we have a variable B, and A is either gonna be true or false, and B is either gonna be true or false. And so just like a multiplication table, we can say if B is true and A is true, we'll drag our fingers across this table until they meet, 
and we'll see that the result is true. But let's say B was false and A was true. Well, we would drag our fingers until they meet and we'll get a false value out of that. The OR operator is two vertical bars side by side. You can write a vertical bar on your keyboard by holding down the shift key and pressing the button right above enter. So we would read this expression here as A or B. And so if either are true or both are true, then the resulting value will be true, otherwise false. And we can express this in a truth table as well. So if A is true and B is false, we still get a value true out of the OR operator. But if both are false, the resulting value is false. The NOT operator is the single exclamation point, And you use this with only one single Boolean value. So we can say something like NOT TRUE, and that will be false. So its truth table is pretty simple. NOT TRUE is false, and NOT FALSE is true. It negates or inverts whatever the Boolean value was before. It's worth committing these truth tables to memory because you'll see them frequently throughout this course. And these ideas are prevalent in every programming language you're going to encounter, even in Microsoft Excel.